Greetings, Commanders. This is a short video on mining, surface mining asteroids in planetary rings. Now, remember our surface scanner tutorial in the last video? If you've not watched that, go back and watch that because that's important. Now, you can actually use the surface scanner to scan rings of planets. So, let's just activate this now. So, it's just a fire button. So when it says ring, fire. These are actually, there's actually two rings here. So we're going to do that twice. And that will actually scan the ring. Surface scan complete. Surface scan complete. Now with luck, it will actually show hotspots. But not today. Oh, this is. So there's an Alexandrite hotspot. So if we lock that, you'll see that it's the inner ring. So it's a good place to start mining. And before you leave for mining, you need to add the following modules to your ship. You will need the surface scanner. You will also need mining lasers, a refinery, a collect Olympic controller and a prospect Olympic controller. And that's basically it. So we're going to head that in there. Now I'm pretty sure I left without my limpets. Oh no, I have limpets, which is good. Don't forget your limpets. So in order to get into the hotspot, basically you just line up on it. You will not get a disengage message. It's basically, to enter the ring, you crash into it. But there are many types of hotspot, which should all give you some decent minerals. So we're just going to crash right into the middle of it. And the yellow indicates where it's most common apparently I will actually leave the hotspot icon targeted because that's the direction we're going to go so you need to put your fire groups so I usually do fire groups prospector on two the collector limpet on one along with the two mining lasers and you'll see why in a minute so, to mine. Get the hive points out. Switch to the firing group. And then this is all random. So, find a rock. Fire a prospector limpet. No, don't worry about the pirate. They won't actually be interested in you at all. Target the prospect to limp it. Quite a few pirates around here. They won't actually attack you until you've got stuff for them to have. So if you've just got limpets, they'll just say things like, "How do you earn? How do you earn a living?" Now, bauxite isn't particularly good. What we're looking for is alexandrite. And also take note, bottom left. It says material content. Now, while you're doing mining, you can pick up other materials, raw materials, such as iron, phosphorus, nickel, and they just they just they <laughs> they just go straight into your materials bin. There's nothing there I want yet. I want alexandrite. target. It is a fishing expedition. But just for the purposes of this, we'll say that we've found what we want. So you want to find the area where the asteroid is rotating least. Open the cargo scoop. 
get in range and fire. And then you just sit. Now I've actually ignored a load of these. Oh, put it, pull pips the weapons. So I've actually ignored a whole lot of this stuff because I don't want it. But you can add and remove by using the contacts. And then it will go off and pick it up. And it will put it into the refinery. Now the refinery is over here. This is what I currently have in my refinery. And you can see that it's building up on Galite and Cobalt right now. And once it gets to nine, once it gets to 100 percent it turns it into a box which it sticks in the inventory. So let's see if we can get that. If you look to the left, there's a percentage. At the moment it's 878.57. You keep firing until that is gone. And then the asteroid is empty. There's no point firing at it anymore. Now because this says material content high, I'm picking up things like lead. Which will say in the top right. And because I've upgraded all of this ship, I can basically just hold my finger down and it will mine quite happily. Here we go. We have a ton of galite. So we've collected enough pieces to create a ton of galite. And we're getting close to another ton. But this is mining. Also got selenium. There's lots of uns. So the limpets are just collecting all those pieces. Now to help out your limpets, you want to put all the pieces under you. Which will let the give the limpets better access to your cargo bay, which is actually under your ship. I'm going to show you right now. So it's actually there. So that's the limpets collecting all the pieces. I think I'll get a screenshot of that. see that later so as you can see it is actually picking stuff up and putting it into the refinery where it gets refined and then creates tons of cargo and then you go sell it for lots of money hopefully but you can find a good place to sell it that's the thing And that, folks, is how you mine. It's just a question of rinse and repeat, really. Obviously, the bigger the ship, the more limpets you can carry. Don't worry about when it says prospector limpet failed. Only two limpets or one limp one prospector can be active at any one time. So when you shoot out a new one, it kills the old one. So don't worry about it. It's a very pretty view. And it's all random number generated. There's no guarantee. I mean, you're more likely to get stuff in hotspots than just out anywhere on the ring. But there's nothing to stop you mining anywhere on the ring. If you don't use prospectors... You won't get as much out of it. So if I say, oh, let's shoot this one here. Right, and I know that there's stuff in there, but watch how quickly it drops. I mean, there are pieces coming off. That's not a problem. But it will say asteroid depleted very, very quickly. 
There you go, top right, asteroid is depleted. Certainly a lot quicker than what we were doing with a prospected one. But it just picks up the bits. And I hope that's clear. Got any comments? Drop them in the comments. And um, I hope it helps you with your mining. Thanks for watching.